Hi, everybody. For the first time, we're getting a detailed look at breakthrough COVID cases in Colorado. These are cases among people who are vaccinated. Now, the results back up research from the CDC suggesting Moderna is the most effective vaccine against the Delta variant. Our vaccination rate has been stagnant for weeks. 68% of Coloradans are fully vaccinated. 75% have received at least one dose. While the state released data on breakthrough cases, the most effective against it is Moderna with 75 cases per 100,000 people. Next is Pfizer with 111 cases. Then Johnson & Johnson with 165. And the final line is unvaccinated people who are far and away the largest group to be diagnosed with COVID. They also make up the vast majority of people in the hospital with it, with a median age of 57. Vaccinated patients tend to be older with a median age of 74. Our Connor McHugh is at UC Health right now, which is helping with breakthrough research. And Connor, tonight, Moderna has the advantage. Doctors say any vaccine really is better than no vaccine. Alan, UC Health's top researcher says that is the key takeaway here, but the, and the numbers show it, 82% of the hospitalized patients with COVID here at UC Health are unvaccinated. Still, the Moderna vaccine is showing it is slightly better at preventing these kinds of scenarios, and new research from the CDC backs that up. I'm spending a lot more time outdoors. I'm going on walks with my wife, riding my bike. Eight months after his second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. I still carry that with me. <laughs> Jonathan Mendez is once again doing the things he loves most. I've reclaimed a lot of what I've lost from the last year. In 2020, the microbiologist was among the first to sign up for UC Health's trial for the Moderna vaccine. Now, almost a year later, new research shows that shot may protect him more than he thought. A lot of peace of mind for me, really. The new report from the CDC analyzed data from nine states in 187 hospitals, finding the Moderna vaccine is 95% effective at preventing hospitalizations against the Delta variant. Pfizer was 80%, while Johnson & Johnson was 60. We really want to keep people from getting sick enough to have to be admitted to the hospital. Dr. Thomas Campbell with UC Health says the study shows Moderna is also slightly better at preventing infection, matching what he's seen in several other recent studies. We're still in the 70% range and, and greater for all measures. So both of these vaccines are still highly effective. Campbell says at this point, he wouldn't recommend one shot over another. Mendez is quick to agree. Get something, um, but I think Moderna is in the lead here, and that's that's good. Now, Dr. Campbell says differences in the different people receiving each of the different vaccines could play a part in those results. Another factor could be the makeup of the vaccines. He says mo the Moderna vaccine has about three times as many antibody or as much RNA in its two doses as the Pfizer vaccine does. Live tonight in Aurora, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.